y'all. It's Jennifer today. So I have actually gotten several um, messages and some comments asking me how I do my hair and giving you and wanting like a step-by-step -step kind of thing. So here I am. My hair is not styled. I actually washed it last night and I let it air dry. So, and this is what it looks like. If I hadn't brushed it, it would have been curly. But I brushed my hair um, because I knew I was going to do this today. So this is what my hair kind of looks like at the moment. It wants to curl, and you can totally see <laughs> the curl, especially in the back, um, just wanting to wanting to curl. But I brushed it out, and this is basically what it looks like right now. So it's pretty smooth. There's some damage on the end, so it takes a little bit of time to work with. But what I use to do my hair, um, I actually have like an old Conair uh, curling iron, and I want to say it's one and a half inches, one inch. One and a half inches. I can't remember. I think it's one and a half inches. Um, and I took the clip off, as you can tell, because I was using it without the clip. So I thought I'd try it without the clip, and it's actually been really nice. So I like it a lot. So that's what I used to style my hair. And then I just used two other products. And those kind of change, look fluffy every so often. But right now I'm using Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal. And um, a skin stick by Perfectly Posh called Good as Gold. Is it guys? I don't know. It's called Good as Gold. And it's just basically a shea butter stick. <clears throat> and it helps tame away my flyaways. Um, and especially since I'm trying to grow out my hair, I have lots of little scraggly gray hairs that really helps to tame those. So if you have a problem, um, because when you dye your hair, it like really tames it and controls um, the texture of your hair. It makes it nice and smooth. Uh, but since I'm not doing that anymore, I have all of these gray scraggly hairs and I like to grow my hair out. Um, see, you can see the gray scraggly hair right here. So I just take a Shea Butter Skin Stick and it calms it right down. And I actually love it a lot because gray hair tends to be kind of porous and dry and that really helps to seal the cuticle and let it grow. So I that's like of all of the things I've been using lately on my hair, if you can find a skin stick, a Shea Butter Stick, because um, I don't know if Perfectly Posh sells this anymore. but if you can find one, they're fabulous. I guess it would be like a pomade or um, a hair balm. Uh, just get one that's like really <clears throat> natural, has a lot of shea butter or coconut oil or something in it that'll help calm down your hair. Your hair. So let's start. I take um, just a few squirts of the healthy, sexy hair. And then I just run it through my hair. Really on the back ends um, underneath because the hair texture is really a whole lot coarser and I want it to be smoother. And on the ends, I don't really concentrate um, up towards the top of my hair, just around the back and then the ends. And I just pull it through. And then I take a brush. to make sure I get really good coverage of the product. And 
then I basically, um, I'm going to just, my hair's already parted pretty much, and I just basically kind of part it in the back. And so when I take my curling um, iron, I'm going to focus on all of my curls going this way, and then on this side I'm going to focus on all of my curls going this way. So I can do a really good job on this side. This side I have um, a little clip that helps me that I'll show you later. Because when I'm curling my hair, you're really hot. <laughs> And sometimes my hair, and I have so much damn hair, it like goes all over the place. So the first, um, I just like divide my hair, section it off into a section. And then I get the curling iron, and I start at the top, and I just take my hair and wrap it. And I leave the ends out. And I love the way it looks when I curl my hair. It looks like I have like reverse ombre or something. I mean like the ends are so dark and then it gets lighter and then you can see the gray and then, but I have that brown streak right there too. So who knows what my hair is gonna look like when it grows out. <laughs> and then I just let that go. And then I have this nice pretty curl right here. And I'm not so much curling my hair to get the curl. I'm curling my hair to get the smoothness. Because I don't know if you've noticed, like, since, um, I mean, my hair is curly, but it's not smooth. It's not a curl that I necessarily, um, I mean, it's sometimes it's pretty, sometimes it's not. But I like the look of my hair when it's nice and smooth. So. That's basically the premise behind using a large barrel for the curling iron. And I'm not a professional. <laughs> I don't have all of those clips to section off my hair. Um, I just go through my hair. I'm not going to take the time to clip it off and section it. And I just use about like one, one and a half inch sections. Can you hear my cat crying? She thinks she doesn't have fresh water, but I gave her fresh water this morning. Even cold water from the fridge. Who gives their cat filtered cold water from the fridge? I do, and I have to do it twice a day because she wants it twice a day. She probably wants it three times a day, but I manage to do twice a day. She's a lucky cat. She doesn't know how lucky she is to have me. <laughs> and my kids. My kids take good care of it, too. They do a lot of the work. I have really great kids, you guys. They clean out a little box now and everything. So who else has a cat? <laughs> we just have like a brown um <clears throat> sorry, a gray uh tortoise shell tabby is what the um humane society called her coloring. She's a really pretty cat. She's sometimes a little shithead, though, I'll have to say. I can't leave glasses out, cups out, full of anything, because it's not like she wants to drink from them. No, she wants to knock them over. She's a shithead. But she's well-loved. <laughs> Look at this piece of gray. My hair looks so weird. You guys, it's been like seven months. Since I've colored my hair. And I just, look at this, just a complete utter stripe moving right through there. 
so crazy. Just a little bit longer. I've had a lot of hair in this roll, so I'm going to leave it in just a little bit longer. And then check and make sure, like, the underside is smooth. But sometimes, like, the underside of my hair, especially, like, right around in here in the short pieces, um, or that frame my face, get all weird, and I really don't like that. So, um, yeah, so this is what it looks like curled and everything. Um, I really actually like it like this, too, but I tend to just brush it out. <laughs> that is my hair and then I just take my skin stick and I just like kind of calm down all of the hairs especially these hairs my gray hairs like right here I want to like grow into my face it feels like sometimes And it doesn't do anything to my hair. Like, it just, since it's right there at my scalp and it's right around my face, my hair is still full of body and, and that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I really enjoyed actually making this video for you guys. I'm actually really surprised. I thought, you know, showing my hair in its, like, natural state would be weak. <laughs> um, but it worked out pretty well. So I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you all later. Thanks so much. Bye.